Hello, mates from Thailand and welcome to my channel, Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is about Thailand's opening. Yes, it's opening its doors as from November the 1st. And supposedly, fingers crossed, all the places should start opening December, ready for the Christmas and New Year period. Now, Thailand's almost been shut now for two years. So the whole world has been in a different situation for the past two years and everybody's sick of lockdown and everybody wants to travel and experience new things. So there's plenty of videos with regard to people obtaining visas, special tourist visas, retirement visas. I've done a couple of videos here about the STV visa, the good points and the bad points about it, it's a start. I've also done some videos on retirement visas, don't do this. Give these videos a watch and you can see what you can do and what you can't do with regard to visas. Always, I'm contactable on my email below if you want to ask any questions with regard to visas. And if I can't help you, I'll pass you on to those people who can help you. So you're one of these people who have been sat at home all the time, feeling bored because of lockdown, feeling frustrated because you can't travel anywhere in the world, watching the winter come, feeling cold, getting your jumpers, getting your jackets on, putting the heating on, paying the gas bill, paying the electricity bill, getting a new life. Because you're retired now, do you feel that time is passing you by and the next step is retirement home or Thailand? I'd choose Thailand more than the retirement home for sure. Will you be sat at home watching the TV or the computer looking for some winter sun and thinking, I wish I was there. I wish I was there rather than sat at home doing nothing and being bored. There's a whole new world out there and it needs to be discovered. So if you're looking for adventures and excitement, new sights, new sounds, new adventures, new food, new cultures, Thailand is the place for you. So Thailand is opening now. There are many more places to visit. So by the time you get all your paperwork, sorted out and your accommodation sorted out and you jump through some of the hoops that you need to go through that will be by December which is then into high season in Thailand. The weather in December in Thailand is fantastic. It's cooler than it is in the hot season and the monsoon season is gone so December is sort of towards the height of the season in Thailand and it's a beautiful time of year to visit. So getting off the plane, welcome to City Life in Bangkok with its special sights and sounds and experiences. It's a whole new buzz of a place to be. Bangkok, I love Bangkok. And it's a city that welcomes everybody. So welcome to the land of smiles. So once you've retired, you need to create your own future. And by creating your own future, you need to have a retirement plan. So these are the things that you need to do once you're retired. So let's go this way to the airport so once you're at the airport you're boarding your plane and you're looking through the window watching the world go by thinking of your future where you're going to be and what you're going to be doing it's an exciting time now many people haven't been able to do this for a long long time so lap it up enjoy it and, and as you land in thailand a whole new world awaits you beautiful scenery beautiful culture a beautiful land it doesn't cost a lot to do this living in Thailand. If you want to retire here, it's not that expensive to live. I've done a video here living on 50,000 baht per month in Thailand. It's easily doable. And I've done a couple of other videos also with regards to living costs in Thailand. And I've also done a video here living in a, a nice two bedroom house in the countryside near, near the beach for 12,000 baht a month. Give that video a watch. It's a good video to watch also. And I've done many videos about living in Thailand, so have a look through all my videos and see what you think. So visiting Thailand, I'm sure you will not be disappointed. It's a wonderful place to come and visit. And probably now is one of the best times to visit it, so it's not crowded with loads of tourists. The beaches are deserted, so you'll feel as if you've got the whole beach to yourself on various islands. Now tourism will pick up next year, I'm sure. So get there before everybody else has experienced the sights and sounds. Hopefully, fingers crossed, by December, everywhere is going to be start opening the bars and the entertainment areas. I would say maybe just give it a miss in the November time because it's early days. Bars and restaurants and entertainment places will be just starting to open. And hopefully by December the 1st, there should be many more places that are open. So if you've got any questions, there's my email at the bottom of the page. 
you can ask me anything you want and I'll answer in the best way that I can any of your questions that you want to ask. So from Les, retired and living the dream, till the next video, bye for now.